What's going on YouTube? So uh, in this video today I'm just going to show you how you can um, measure some areas again but this time using a PDF. So um, I'll just show you this one for example. So if we go to engineering layout and if you wanted to work out some areas in a PDF there's a built in measuring tool in here which can work out areas and perimeters but it's not too great really. So you just go to measure, click on measuring tool. The other thing you just got to make sure is your uh, scale is set so this is a drawing in 1 to 500 so that equals 1 centimeter equals 5 meters which is 1 to 500 and if you just wanted to to quickly check um, check a distance so we know we know this section of roads 5.5 .5, but problem is look how thick the lines are so it doesn't always come come out to be spot on so complete measure there and yeah it's coming out at 5.49 which is 10 mil off and just when you're measuring a PDF you can do areas as well so if you just click there for area so you, you can go around and click on areas but it's nowhere near as good as using AutoCAD so let's say you just wanted to know that area for example so you can just close it there so, that's, so it, it does work but it's just nowhere near as good as accurate but if it's the only thing you've got it's better than nothing but you can import a PDF into CAD and you can measure from there and I'll show you how to do that. So you just go to CAD, open it up, open a new drawing and you go over to insert and it's PDF import. PDF import, select the drawing you want to import. So I want to import the engineering layout, open. I'll, I'll scale it when I'm in there. Just want to rotate it 90 degrees because it's the wrong way around. And okay. Um insertion point I'm just gonna make about zero 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 comma zero enter and it'll just import now. It can take a, a minute or so. Okay, so um now it's imported as you can see. So first thing to do is just to check what kind of scale it's at. So we know this section of road is going to be five point five meters wide. Just type in dist and we'll just check this here. And as you can see it's way off so um, to fix this all we've got to do is scale it and to scale it we just go control all or you know just select everything so I just go control all go to home tab and it's that button there or you can type in scale so base point I'm just going to make 0, 0.0 again and I'm going to scale it by a reference And I'm just going to use this as a reference, this road here. So that endpoint to that endpoint. And the new length of this wants to be 5.5. Enter. So we'll double click as mouse wheel, zoom extents. And we'll just double check if this has worked. This. And as you can see, it's measuring 5.5. So uh, I'll just check in a few other spots. So I'll just check. I'll just check it. Say um, I'll just check it over here. Say this. Check that point there to this end point here. So that's two millimeters off there, but it is a PDF import, so it won't be perfect. I'll check this point here, which should be five point five, as you can see by the dimensions there. And it's seventeen mil off there. So you, you could try fix it, but if you fix it here, it'll be slightly off there, but 17 mil isn't bad. 17 mil off there. Let's just check it somewhere else. We'll check it up here. And it's 20, uh, 23 mil off there, that's what it says. Check it here. It's eight mil off there. So this is just because of line thicknesses used in PDF and when you export it out from CAD and export it back in, you sometimes just lose some of that. So that but um But yeah sometimes sometimes it happens so but we'll just double check the area on this and compare it to what we did before and it's the same same method so I'll just make a new layer. 
call it area one. Give it a bright color. Set that one to current. And I'll just check the area again using the same method in the last video. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end now. So I just got the last point C for close. Just go pet it, make that touch wider so we can see it. Select point line, that one. Wait, make that zero point one. So that's an area there. So I was typing area, see what it is. Object, select what it is. So that's four seven seven point zero five five. And what do we have last time? 476.2. So it's slightly off, but um, if that's the only thing you've got, a PDF, this is probably as good as it's gonna get. A lot better than, than trying to work it out. Um, than trying to work it out um, using a, a scale ruler physically. And probably better than measuring in a PDF. It's just better to import into AutoCAD and, and work out in here using this method. So uh, that's how you measure a PDF in AutoCAD. Um, thanks.